Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I love doing DIY refraction clothes into the new simply but pretty way. Today video, I'm very excited to share with you my DIY Haunter Ruffle Hem Dread for my last minute Valentine's Day. The fabric I choose is linen in pink color. First step, I'm drawing two rectangles with 60cm width and 70cm length. They will be the front and the back of the thread. At the top of the dress, I go down 20 cm and mark there. From there, I go to inside 5 cm and make the second mark. Then I'm drawing a line to connect that mark to the end of the dress. At the top, I go to inside 10 cm and drawing a curved line from there to the second mark to create the hand part of the dress. Then cutting by the drawing line. The measurement I use is that the width at the hand have to be half of the bust side plus 8 cm. The width of the end have to be half of the hip side plus 12 cm or bigger. And the width of the top is the width of the shoulder. After cutting, I'm overlocking the fabric. I use the zigzag stitching in my sewing machine and the fact overlocking breast of foot. Then I connect the front and the back of the dress together at two sides by the beams and sewing. Now I'm making the ruffle hand of the dress. I'm drawing a rectangle with 30 cm width and 200 cm length with a double your hip side or longer. I'm also overlocking the fabric after cutting. Then I'm making a loose seam at one edge of the rectangle. I use the maximum width of my sewing machine to have the lowest seam. To make the ruffle, I keep one press and pull another one. In my opinion, it's better to use the upper thread to pull, 
so you can control the ruffle easier. Make sure the length of the ruffle is the same with the end of the dress. Then I connect the ruffle to the end of the dress by the bings and sewing. After that, I'm sewing two ends of the rectangle together to finish the ruffle. To the end of the ruffle, which is the end of the dress now, I fold the fabric to inside about 1cm to hide the cutting. I use the beans to hold my folding, then sewing. Move to the top of the dress at the hand part. I also fold the fabric to inside about 1cm to hide the cutting. It's similar to what I just did to the end of the dress, then sewing. From the top, I go down 10 cm and draw a line. I fold the fabric inside to meet that drawing, then sewing. So I will have the haunter area. Doing the same for the front and the back of the dress. Now, I'm making the ties for the dress by using the leftover fabric I have. I'm cutting two rectangles with 10 cm width and about 40 cm length. Then, connecting them together at one end to have a long tie. I fold two ends of the fabric together and sewing. Remember to have a curved seam at two ends of the tie and keep a small unsewed space at the middle. To upside the ties, I use a long stick to move from one end to the unsealed space at the middle. After that, I use the iron to make it nice. Then I use a safety pin to put the tie to inside the hole at the haunter that I made before. Make sure you move the tie from the front to the back. So two ends of the tie will meet each other at one side of the shoulder. And we finished the DIY. Let's check out my final result. It's so pretty and easy to make in a very short time. It's also suitable for any body type, so make one for your Valentine's Day. Please 
like and share if you enjoy the DIY and subscribe to my channel to see my other DIYs. See you next week.